Hello everyone, Lucky Mushroom Productions back again. So my last review, I reviewed Devious Diesel. If you haven't seen that, check it out. And I have done many other reviews, so make sure to check those out. Now, as you can see, I have my two other Thomases in the back. I have the 2016 Thomas, which I've heavily modified, and the original Thomas. Um, that one's from 2011, although it's basically the Thomas they've used basically up until 2015. So today I'm going to be reviewing a different Thomas. And this might be, well, I don't know. This is probably in my top three favorite Hornby Thomas items, okay? I don't know if it is my favorite favorite, because my favorite is actually the original Hornby Thomas. But, man, this is one of the coolest Hornby items I've ever received. It is a limited edition of 1000 Thomas the Tank Engine from Hornby. Now, I remember these sold like crazy, and I could never get my hands on one. So now I finally have it. It was made for the 70th anniversary, which was in 2015, I do believe. So let's get on to it. So it's a completely different box. I wish they would have used a Railway Series rather than that Nitrogen Studios Thomas animation, but, you know, whatever. Thomas 70th anniversary locomotive, special metallic blue finish, and you got that really cool background. On the side, Thomas the Tank Engine, limited edition of 1000. So, says the same thing on this side. It originally cost 95 pounds, which is, you know, I, I, that's, I mean, this really is a premium model once I get onto it. So, it's n there's not very much going on, on the sides, and not very much on the back either. You got thomasandfriends.com, Thomas the Tank Engine, created by Brett Allcroft. I'm glad they still have that on there. 2015 Glenn Thomas Limited, all that other jazz, Hidden Entertainment, and uh, the Sad Onion Kid <laughs> on Hornby.com. So, let's get him out. So the top comes off. It's like, uh, if, if anyone has ever owned the uh, Stamp Collection engines, it's sort of packaged like that. So you get this on top. And mine is 459 out of 1,000. Uh, so you get this really nice collector's card. It's not just like thin paper. It's like a card. It's really good. So really cool. It's a certificate of authenticity. And I love that picture down there. That's really cool. And it has this product code and everything. Locomotive with type M instructions. So we've seen this before. And now, ooh, there he is. Metallic Thomas. And since it's metallic, you're probably going to see the camera a lot, but whatever. Man, this thing is awesome. I love this model. And it's amazing what a change of paintwork can do to an engine. So I think we're going to get him out. I'm going to remove this. Let's put this over here, actually. And I'm going to remove him like so. I do not want to mess up the paintwork. So I'm going to see if probably ledge him up. Just take him out. There we go. Okay. Um... I'm gonna put them down. Let me move this box out of the way. All right. So, it's basically, this review. I mean, I'm gonna be going over a lot of points I've made in previous reviews of my, like I've done in my original Thomas review, which was actually my first Hornby review. If, uh, for those who don't know, so the 2016 face, and these vary. Sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. But this one I think is the best <laughs> of the 2016. I mean, they've done so well in this. It's competing with the classic face, in my opinion. I mean, this face is... I'm, I love how they how this one came out with the eyebrows, and the eyes are the perfect distance. So These came pre-applied, as they uh, usually do on these newer models. That's why, you know, this one's kind of leaning back again, or leaning back a bit. Now, it look, he looks a bit lighter on camera than he does in real life. I mean, you can't beat the look it does in real life, man, but I will him to my other Thomases. So this at one point was the 2016 Thomas. Um, I have done a lot of modifications to him. This face, the reason why that Thomas doesn't have a face is because this Thomas now has the, my, uh, has that face. And this Thomas is the one y'all see in videos, or y'all have been seeing in videos since 2000, like mid-2016 onward. There's those two. So these are the two on the market right now. Obviously I've done changes, like made that all white and everything, but Look at that. Shows what a paint job can do. Now, my favorite Hornby Thomas of them all is actually this Thomas. The original Thomas. So if I just put them, these three here. 
Obviously, he doesn't have a face. I could put the 2016 face on him if I wanted to. I still have a this one free rolls because I needed his motor. That's the whole reason I got this new Thomas. Uh, these two Thomases are both missing whistles, so it's nice to have one that's pristine like this one. I mean, just you can really just see. I mean, what this paint job has done for Thomas. I mean, that's really really cool. So, put these two back here. And let's get back onto this Thomas. So I, I love, you know, just the look on them, really. And you, you have to grab them from either down here, like by the buffers, because, I mean, that's, if you get your fingers on there, it'll probably leave marks. So here's the front. I've always loved the front view of the Hornby Thomas. That, that I mean, the front view of them is in my favorite. I mean, in my opinion, it's my favorite view. Like, head on like this, that looks so cool on Thomas. So you have his face, the very nice metallic look, the vacuum pipe, the coupling, and the buffers, and the white running board on the top. Uh, since he's like this, the red lining sticks out a lot more, which is really cool. So does the yellow. Basically, all the lining, like, see how that, how the red and, like, the number one sticks out a lot more. They've even done the wheels darker. On most metallic models, they don't change the wheels, but they've, Hornby's gone the extra mile, made the wheels darker. Underneath, uh, I'm gonna have to move this around to here. 2015 Galane Thomas Limited is what it says under there. As you can see by the wheels. I, I I did run them a little bit whenever I got them. Make sure he ran, and he did run just fine. Sorry, I had a little scuff on his paintwork. I'm telling you, man, the, the, this thing leaves marks very very easily. So. I'll just watch out. This is definitely a collector's piece, unlike, you know, Thomas, Percy, and Toby, which are, which can be, you know, more for children, well, that children can handle. This one, I would say, is a collector's piece rather than a child's toy. Although, Mod the Hornby isn't a toy, but um, I would say the, this is more for the collector. So, that's why it's in my possession. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, it's just the Thomas repainted, so y'all want to see, you know, all the details of them, check out my first review, which was the Thomas review. I may or may not put an annotation on screen. I hope I remember, but who knows. Um, there's the inside of the cab. Again, it's detailed. You can see the reflection like crazy off of this thing. I mean, I mean, like, this thing, I love this Thomas, like, to bits. I love it, love it like crazy. You, know, you got the two whistles up there, the matte finish on the cab and smoke box. That's cool that they didn't make it all metallic. That they still kept the matte on the, the the uh, the um, the cab roof and the smoke box. So I like that. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, I love the face on this one. This one, this face is really good. It came out really good. So that's about it for this Thomas. I'm gonna jazz up the background in three, two, one. All right. That transition was probably really bad. Anyway, that was my review of the 70th anniversary Metallic Hornby Thomas. I hope y'all have enjoyed this review, and I will have more to come soon. But I am blown away with this Thomas. This this goes beyond the scale, so I'm going to give this guy a 12 out of 10. A 12.5. A 12.5 out of 10. Um, I, do, I do recommend this. He's quite hard to find now. Uh, and when you find him on eBay, he goes for quite a lot. I got pretty lucky with this one and got him in a reasonable range. But they go on eBay for like 200 bucks, So I would um, be skeptical when you're um, purchasing this. And again, I mean, you're, you're not going to run him very much because he's, like, he's a collector's piece. Like, I'm not going to run him very much. Um, so I just, you know, just be, be aware of that. Yeah, but I do recommend him to any Hornby collector or any Thomas the Tank engine collector. If you can get around to purchasing them. So, that has been my review. Like and subscribe. And Lucky Mushroom Productions, signing out.